Teaching your kid about the world we live in can be a lot of fun, especially for preschoolers. I have a giveaway today that's going to inspire you to play. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I do educational activities for children and lots of inspiration ideas to learn by play, plus a few hauls mixed in between. Today, we are doing a giveaway that is sponsored by Learning Resources. I have a ton of activities that are gonna inspire you to play with your children to learn about the world. We're gonna kick things off with this magnetic US puzzle. I have been searching high and low, you guys know this, for a long time for the perfect United States map. And I think this one fits the bill. It's for ages four and up and comes with 44 pieces and it actually measures 19 inches from east to west. And these puzzle pieces are really nice. They're super thick and they're very colorful. Also in this kit, you always get the instruction book, but what's really cool is it has all of the states listed, their icons, and a fun fact about them. And there are pictures on each puzzle piece that match in the instruction booklet, so you can see which state that they are talking about. Then you get this really nice paper mat that you can put the magnets directly on and use it as a guide, or you can put the puzzle together without the mat for an even more difficult challenge. We put ours on our dishwasher and our girls went to town matching up each state to the pictured map. This project did take a while. We came back to it the next day and actually finished it off. It's a great interactive way to learn about the states and where they're located and some fun facts about each one. And of course I want to throw in some activities that you can pull together on your own, so I have some ideas for that too. I found some really fun printables from 3 These are all free. The first one is a size sequencing, so you would just cut out the individual maps and sort them from smallest to largest, largest to smallest. This is a really simple thing that you can do. If you want these to stay longer, just laminate them and cut them out that way and you'll have them longer term. Another option you can do is print out an additional one and do a matching. So one you keep just like this and the other one you would cut out and you would take the pieces and match them on just like this so it becomes a matching game instead this packet had a ton of other options in it I just printed out two more to show you the younger variety so I would definitely go look there was all kinds of activities in there I pulled out this one which is a small medium large size sort so they would just cut out all of the individual maps and then you place them on the mat once again you can go ahead and laminate them just so that so they just kind of keep longer or you can make it a cut and paste so I I went ahead and cut these out and we'll probably use them as a cut and paste too. Really simple for the um, early preschool level. For a little bit more advanced, in this same packet they have this great writing activity. So it's showing the vocabulary for the continent and then some word tracing. And then in addition to this, they also have it where this is blank so they can freehand write it if they want. We're still working on letter formation so that's why I went ahead and um, printed out the words that were already printed on. Uh, but it's a really great writing exercise plus vocabulary and learning the names. And speaking of vocabulary and learning the names, Dollar Tree has this really awesome set of um, map pieces. It looks like this. I kept it in the package so you can see. There's 14 pieces in here. And they're super colorful. So you get the words by themselves plus the pieces of the continent. So you can do a really great continent to picture match here with the words. Plus on each continent, there are pictures of what you would find in those continents. So, you know, Africa, you would have all kinds of different things than you would in Australia where you would have the koala bears. So you so you can talk about those different things. If you even have these in maybe a tube figurine, you could do some matching that way. But ultimately you're matching the um, word to the continent. I thought it'd be really fun to take these and spread them out on the floor. And then if you have younger kids, you can introduce some bean bags and throw these across and whatever they land on, they would have to say the name of the continent. If you are in the market for some bean bags, I absolutely love these. They're from Educational Insights. I'll put a link down below to where to find them. They have lasted a long time and I use them with so many things. And then I can't leave out the older kids. This came from one plus one plus one equals one.com. One plus one, I hope I got that right. <laughs> the links to these free printables will be in the description box. You can go right to them. But this is a notebooking exercise and there were several items in this printable too so um, definitely if you have older kids go check it out because there's a lot of things in there I just pulled out these two different ones because I thought they were pretty good so you could um, leave them as sheets like this or cut them out and put them in a notebook but you would put the name of the country here on top and then go research so research on the internet if you have a book of the different continents
minutes that would be great go to the library to get one um, and then you would color in the flag you would write to three attractions and once again this is for the older kids in your household I just wanted to pull it because you guys are always asking for older kids too. five cool things to do and then facts about the country if you're really getting into these activities to learn about the world you're gonna definitely love this one it's a puzzle globe what a great way to learn the continents with this puzzle globe it's super colorful and fun each continent comes right off and on the back there is a shape so you can match it up to the other shape on the globe the labels are color coordinated to each continent so if you have some trouble labeling the continents you'll have a little clue there to help you also there is a really great guide just like the US map this one on the world will have each continent and it will talk about certain things that each continent has and those pictures are also on the puzzle piece so you can match them easily this set also comes with some blank labels so if you want to make this a little bit more difficult you can cover up the continent names as well as the ocean names to make it even harder And now for the giveaway details, leave me a comment down below and let me know which one you would like if you were to win. As a reminder, you would have your choice of the US Magnetic Puzzle or the Puzzle Globe. Now, just a reminder, there's gonna be one winner and you get to pick one of those prizes. And to do that, after you leave a comment, let me know which one you like and you made sure you're subscribed, head on over to the giveaway link, which is down below in the description box to enter. You must be 18 years of age or older and have a US postal address. And as always, you can score some bonus entries by heading over to Facebook and following the instructions on this post. It's a great way to score some extra entries to give you more chances to win. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.